There are many parks and recreational places in Fort Wayne. This video will highlight Krieger Park and its unique playground inspired by one girl's dream. Krieger Park is located on Fort Wayne's east side. It occupies approximately 172 acres. Until 1994, the park was known as the Maumee Park. It was redesigned and new amenities were added including soccer fields, softball fields, open spaces, and the recently added Boundless Playground. The park includes many trails which connect to the River Greenway. The River Greenway is an expanding pathway that can be navigated throughout the Fort Wayne area. The path from Krieger can be taken through New Haven and to various other areas. It is an excellent place to walk, run, exercise, and bike ride. In 2011, the park added a boundless playground. It encompasses approximately 10 acres of the park and offers three areas called pods that can be enjoyed by children of various ages and various abilities. The Alpha Pod is designed for children ages 2 to 5. There are areas where the children can explore and learn different skills. The swings in Alpha Pod and other swings on the playground are all designed so children with disabilities can be safely secured and also enjoy soaring on the swing sets. Another unique feature of the Alpha Pod is the music area. This area offers children the chance to experience different sounds and instruments. The Beta Pod was designed for children ages 2 to 12. It offers an area for children of various ages to play together and develop social skills and teamwork. The NEOS 360 is the world's first outdoor electronic playground. It has various games that can be played as a single player or as a team. The NEOS 360 is the hottest spot in the park. It offers the children aerobic exercise, team play, and social interaction. It combines exercise, speed, and dexterity. In the middle of the three pods, there is a state-of-the-art splash pad that is strategically placed so that all children can navigate and enjoy cold water on a hot day. Lastly, the Gamma Pod is designed for children ages 5 to 12. It is the largest pod in the playground and offers several activities, mostly focused on movement and climbing. Like other areas on the playground, the Gamma Pod can be accessed by ramps or climbing to accommodate the various needs of children. The highlight of the Gamma Pod is the Aero Glider. The Aero Glider is a rocker that can hold two wheelchairs and several children. There are ledges on the outside where the children or parents can stand and cause the glider to rock or sway. Many of the structures on the playground are unique and unlike any other. They offer obstacles and climbing structures that can challenge children while they play. Taylor was an 11-year-old girl who had a dream of creating a playground that accommodated all children regardless of their abilities. She envisioned a place where no child was left out of play. Her mother helped her research playgrounds and found the Boundless Playground program. Taylor won the Pepsi Refresh Challenge for her idea and received a $30,000 grant. After winning, her mother helped her fundraise and work with Fort Wayne Parks and Recreation to create the playground. Many companies worked on this project and donated, with CVS donating $40,000. The City of Fort Wayne donated $250,000. The playground cost nearly a million dollars to build. There are many more companies and individuals who funded this project as well. The park took two years of fundraising and design and nearly 10 months to build. For more information about the Boundless Playground program and Taylor's Dream, you can visit Fort Wayne Parks and Recreation 
or any of the listed web pages. There are nearly 200 boundless playgrounds in 31 states and Canada, with many more being built. Fort Wayne is privileged to have this park, and Taylor's story is an excellent example of one person dreaming big enough to inspire many.